Imagine this, you're at your favorite coffee shop, laptop open, eager to get some work done. The aroma of freshly brewed coffee fills the air, and the soft hum of conversations creates a perfect backdrop for productivity. You connect to the Wi-Fi, seamlessly browsing the web and sending emails. It's almost magical how effortlessly you can access information, communicate with colleagues, and even stream your favorite music. This invisible force that empowers your digital life is made possible by Access Points, APs. These devices are the unsung heroes that ensure you stay connected, whether you're at home, in the office, or on the go. These unsung heroes of connectivity bridge the gap between your devices and the vast expanse of the internet. They act as intermediaries, translating the signals from your devices into data that can travel across the web. This essay delves into the world of wireless networks, focusing on two fundamental types of access points, standalone APs and controller-based APs. Standalone APs are typically used in smaller environments like homes or small offices, where a single device can handle the network's needs. We'll explore their differences, advantages, and how they shape our online experiences. Controller-based APs, on the other hand, are designed for larger networks, such as those in corporate environments or public spaces, where multiple access points need to be managed centrally. Understanding these concepts is crucial for anyone who interacts with wireless networks, from home users setting up their Wi-Fi connections, to IT professionals configuring complex network systems. Knowing the right type of access point for your needs can make a significant difference in your network's performance and reliability. By the end of this essay, you'll have a clearer understanding of the technology that powers our increasingly connected world. You'll appreciate the intricate systems that allow us to stay connected, work efficiently, and enjoy the digital conveniences of modern life. Standalone APs are the epitome of plug-and-play simplicity. Just plug them into a power outlet and you're almost ready to go. These independent units function as standalone entities, requiring minimal configuration to get up and running. With just a few simple steps, you can have your network up and running in no time. Imagine them as the set it and forget it option in the world of wireless networking. Once set up, they require little to no maintenance, making them perfect for those who prefer a hassle-free experience. Typically found in homes and small offices, standalone APs offer a cost-effective solution for basic wireless coverage. They are ideal for environments where the demand for high-speed internet is moderate and the number of connected devices is limited. They excel in environments where centralized management isn't a priority, allowing users to quickly establish a Wi-Fi network without the need for complex configurations. This makes them particularly useful for temporary setups or locations where simplicity is key. Their ease of use and affordability make them an attractive option for individuals and small businesses seeking a straightforward approach to wireless connectivity. For small businesses, this means saving on both time and costs associated with more complex systems. However, their simplicity comes at the cost of scalability and advanced features. While they are perfect for smaller setups, they may not be suitable for larger networks that require more robust management and advanced functionalities. In contrast to their standalone counterparts, controller-based APs operate as part of a larger ecosystem. These APs rely on a dedicated wireless LAN controller, WLC, for centralized management and control. The WLC acts as the brain of the operation, orchestrating network settings, security policies, and firmware updates for all connected APs. This centralized approach simplifies network administration, especially in large deployments with numerous APs. Controller-based architectures are particularly well-suited for enterprises, educational institutions, and other organizations with extensive wireless needs. They offer unparalleled scalability, allowing administrators to manage thousands of APs from a single interface. Local mode is the traditional operating mode for controller-based APs. In this mode, all traffic from connected devices flows through the WLC before reaching the wired network. Think of the WLC as a central hub that inspects and directs all data traffic. This centralized architecture provides robust security and control, as the WLC enforces policies and filters traffic before it enters or leaves the wireless network. 
While local mode offers excellent security and centralized management, it can introduce a single point of failure. If the WLC goes down, the entire wireless network is affected. Flex Connect Mode Distributed Intelligence This innovative mode is designed to enhance the efficiency and reliability of wireless networks by distributing intelligence across various access points. Flex Connect Mode introduces a significant degree of autonomy to controller-based access points, allowing them to operate independently under certain conditions. Unlike local mode, where the wireless LAN controller handles all traffic, Flex Connect allows access points to locally switch some traffic. This means that even if the connection to the WLC is interrupted, the APs can still manage and route traffic efficiently. This distributed intelligence significantly enhances the network's resilience. In the event of WLC outages, access points can continue to function autonomously, ensuring that the network remains operational and minimizing downtime. Flex Connect is particularly beneficial in branch offices or remote locations where connectivity to the central WLC may be intermittent. In such scenarios, the ability of APs to operate independently ensures continuous network service. Furthermore, Flex Connect empowers administrators to customize network policies on a per AP basis. This provides greater flexibility and control over the wireless environment, allowing for tailored configurations that meet specific needs and requirements. By enabling local switching and distributed intelligence, Flex Connect mode not only enhances the user experience, but also optimizes overall network performance. This makes it an invaluable feature for modern dynamic wireless networks. Local mode versus Flex Connect. A practical comparison. Choosing between local mode and flex connect depends on the specific requirements of the network. Local mode offers the highest level of security and centralized control, making it suitable for environments where these factors are paramount. On the other hand, flex connect provides greater flexibility and resilience, ideal for distributed networks or locations with unreliable connectivity to the central WLC. Ultimately, the best choice depends on a careful assessment of the organization's needs and priorities. Benefits of standalone APs Cost-effective simplicity Standalone APs shine in scenarios where simplicity and affordability are paramount. Their plug-and-play nature eliminates the need for complex configurations, making them ideal for home users and small businesses with limited technical expertise. Their low cost of entry and ease of deployment make them a popular choice for establishing basic wireless coverage without breaking the bank. However, their limited scalability and lack of advanced features may not be suitable for larger deployments or organizations with more demanding requirements. Controller-based APs excel in environments where scalability, centralized management, and advanced features are critical. Their ability to manage thousands of APs from a single interface makes them well-suited for large enterprises, campuses, and public Wi-Fi deployments. The centralized nature of controller-based architectures simplifies network administration, allowing administrators to configure and monitor the entire wireless infrastructure from a central location. Moreover, these systems offer advanced features such as guest access management, wireless intrusion prevention, and location-based services. Selecting the right wireless architecture is crucial for ensuring optimal network performance, security, and manageability. Several factors come into play when making this decision, including network size, budget constraints, security requirements, and future growth plans. For small deployments with basic needs, standalone APs offer a cost-effective and straightforward solution. However, larger organizations with complex requirements and a focus on centralized control will likely benefit from the scalability and advanced features of controller-based architectures. The world of wireless networking is constantly evolving, with cloud-managed solutions gaining significant traction. Cloud-managed APs combine the benefits of both standalone and controller-based architectures, offering centralized management, scalability, and simplified deployments. These systems leverage the power of the cloud to streamline network administration, enabling administrators to manage their entire wireless infrastructure from anywhere with an internet connection. 
Cloud managed solutions offer a compelling alternative for organizations of all sizes seeking a flexible, scalable, and cost-effective approach to wireless networking. The world of wireless networking can seem daunting, but understanding the fundamental differences between standalone and controller-based APs is crucial for making informed decisions about your wireless infrastructure. By carefully considering your specific needs, budget, and future growth plans, you can choose the architecture that best aligns with your requirements. As technology continues to evolve, staying informed about the latest trends in wireless networking will empower you to create a seamless and secure online experience for yourself and your users.